All right, let's go. Don't destroy it just yet. Eater World has summoned. Oh god. Uh. Oh jeez. Oh no. Welcome back to another video of Terraria. I'm here in my world and it is currently nighttime. That's not really important at all for what we have planned for today. If you have seen the last video, which you probably should, uh, we have been preparing to fight a boss called the Eater of Worlds. Uh, we can spawn it in the corruption. I don't think it, it has to be daytime or nighttime or anything. I think uh, it can spawn at any time, but we need to destroy three of these orbs and we've already destroyed two. So we need to destroy one more and we will get another weapon or something from it uh, when we destroy it. But we're not going to have enough time to actually like look at it and equip it maybe. So we're going to do that today. We're not going to do anything in the house. We're not going to do anything with the NPCs. I did go over the footage of last video though and I realized that I forgot to make like some sort of arena or something. Like some sort of thing uh, that I can just move around on. <clears throat> and when I say arena, I mean like just a bunch of platforms stuff uh so we're gonna go ahead and create a, a ton of platforms just so we can do that and uh where are they right here there we go yeah we're just gonna create a ton of platforms and uh well i'll explain what weapons we got you think that's enough now nah, let's create some more so last time we uh we, we, we were preparing for this boss battle we got some weapons we went to the crimson biome in another world and uh we we got some weapons we got ourselves an undertaker and a musket and uh, I feel like we got something else. We got our Bone Javelins. We got a Zealous Wand of Sparking, which is actually an upgrade to our current Wand of Sparking as well. Uh, we've got some potions that we're going to use. We're going to use the Iron Skin Potion. Maybe the Night Owl Potion. I don't know how good it is. And we'll use the Regeneration Potion. And, of course, we got Health Potions uh, to use throughout the, the battle as well. Uh, and I'm taking these Eater of Souls banners because... I mean, I'm going to hang them up in the corruption because they're pretty much useless here because uh, there are no Eaters of Souls around. So we're going to go ahead and head over there uh, in the nighttime. The corruption has expanded yet again, and there is already an Eater of Souls waiting for me. Get out of here. You know what? Let's just go ahead and use our uh, Undertaker on you. Boom. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, we... Oh, my God. They're already coming. So we got two weapons. We got the Undertaker and the Musket. The Undertaker looks really good. I like the look of it a lot. Is this another Abigail's Flower? Wait, what? Did we just get a better one? What's keen? I don't know. It was red. Um, plus 3% critical strike chance. You know what? We'll use that instead. That is a lot better than the annoying Abigail's flower. And uh-oh, there's a worm. Get out of here. <laughs> Little preparations to uh, what's to come. So yeah, the musket and the undertaker are pretty much the same, um, except the musket has a slower speed, like slower reload speed, but does a lot more damage. And the undertaker has a faster speed, but it does less damage. So I think I'll be using the musket throughout the duration of this, uh, but we can also use the Undertaker as well, just to, just to have a little bit of a variety. And uh, these altars right here, I think are actually used for crafting. I don't know if they are or not, but I actually did see somewhere that um, they can be used for crafting. And uh, we need to go and find ourselves a, uh, a shadow orb. And what is this area right here? I don't think I actually like came through. Is this a... Uh, actual like desert bomb or is this just like a, a normal bomb i don't know we can explore it another time though uh because we need to find uh another shadow orb oh yeah and we also got some uh accessories as well like these hermes boots that make us go really fast they're really useful i do want something that can make us fly though i know that there's these wings that you can get and i don't know how to obtain them but I would, I would like something like that and uh i don't see any shadow orbs anywhere wait what am i doing i said i was gonna make an arena first hang on we need to go up there make an arena before we do anything i forgot about that <laughs> what am i doing so if you've been keeping up with uh the terraria series you'll know that i have i've had another world before but it got erased due to my computer needing to do like a hard reset and I, it didn't save to the cloud for whatever reason so um uh, I've had I had to restart. There's no way of getting that world back, which is just that that's unfortunate because that was a really good world I like it a lot better than this one, but I mean what's done is done get out of here demon eye Ooh, candy apple and now uh, we're on this world with the corruption So I mean got got to got to roll with the punches So we need to actually create an arena or something get out of here. Oh my god. I'm wasting shots left and right uh, I'd like to light it up a little bit though. Okay, um Let's see, let's just put a bunch of platforms up here. I don't care how how big it is, you know what? Yeah, let's just go ahead and place them all like this. And we're gonna hang the banners 
from below the platforms right here. Oh my god, there's so many. This is why I do not like the corruption. This is why we're dealing with the Eater of Worlds first, so I never have to come back here. I gotta get better with my aim, too. Jeez, because this is like... That's not good. Get out of here. Go. Just get out of here. Look at all of these Eater of Souls spawning. Jeez. I swear, I, I might actually get like another set of the Ancient Shadow Armor that I was grinding for for like 30 minutes last time. 30 minutes for that one... For that one piece. I got the other two and uh, like in one sitting. I got like two of the three armor pieces in like, I don't know, maybe uh, 10 minutes or something. I got really lucky with that. But uh, if you want to see me collect all that, then uh, watch watch the last video. The, it'll be uh, linked in the description. And there's the 350th Eater of, of Souls. Wow, it's just insane. So we're going to have another banner to put up, which is good because we can actually do more damage to them. And actually, speaking of, we should actually probably place it down right now just so we can get a little bit more damage to them. Uh, we're going to place them like that. Oh, and we're also going to use the Abigail's Flower because I forgot to use that. That's going to help out a lot. All right, I think this is looking good. I'm just going to add some places to get up uh, just in case I fall because that is more than likely to happen. I think I'm going to add one more little ladder. Maybe right here. This isn't the most efficient ladder, but it's better than nothing. I might expand it a little more a little later. But these Eater of Souls are so annoying. Um, as you can see, I've placed all of the Eater of Souls flags that I have. And I am bound to get more. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I probably killed like 370 of these things probably. I don't know. But this is looking good. This is looking good. So we got everything down here. We got all of the lower area and all of the above area. I don't know if this thing is gonna be going any higher but uh we'll see we need to just kill all these eater of souls and uh this is not where i want to go down uh maybe it is no it's not um let's see where do i want to go down is it maybe over here uh i'm not sure i want to i want to get that shadow orb somewhere uh where i can easily access this uh little arena thing you know what? i'm just gonna go down this little uh ravine right here this little crevice whoa look at this ow did not mean to do all that. What is this? Is this platinum? Or is that just ebonstone or whatever ore that I can't mine? It's probably that ore that I can't mine. Wow, there's like a whole other place that I didn't even explore. Jeez. Let's see how far it goes. Oh, there's some things right here. We got some more rope. We got some bombs. That might be useful. Um, yeah, there's pretty much nothing down here. Look at all the demon altars here, though. I don't know, but those little shadow orb things are the ones that I need to destroy. I just want to light this up a little bit more. Uh, just so I can see a little bit better. All right, there we go. Um, these bombs are going to be useful. Maybe I use the Scarab bombs uh, instead. I don't know. I'm going to put Annoying Abigail over there uh, so I don't get too confused. Um, let's see. Let's place some rope right here. Okay. Uh, we need to get... Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is so bad. Jeez, this goes down deep. I'm hearing, like, normal underground cave music. You know, let's just leave that right there. And uh, let's let's make our way back up. Hopefully, no worms come over and surprise us. We're gonna just get like platforms going right now. That's that's the best thing to do at the moment. We gotta be very careful not to fall. There we go. Okay, we're gonna place some platforms here as well. All right, perfect. And there's another eater of souls here. That's just great. All right, are we all good? We all ready? Abigail, you ready? Nope, she's not. <laughs> okay, now she is. Now she should be able to be ready. Uh, so let's go for this shadow right here. This is the last one, I think, that we need to destroy. I don't know if it resets after you leave the server or not, but we're about to find out. All right, let's go. Don't destroy it just yet. Eater Worlds has summoned... Oh, God. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. I did not want this to be done right now. We're not even up above. Okay, we need to get up above. We need to get up above. Place the rope. Place the rope. We need to get up to the little arena thing. I did not realize we would have to do it down here. Ah! All right, yes, here we go. Oh, here he is, okay. Oh my God. Oh my, okay, this is actually e really easy. I need to actually, oh, I forgot to drink my potions. Okay, iron skin potion, regeneration potion. This is so crazy. Oh, I gotta be careful. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, that's good that I dodged. Okay, we're just gonna shoot it down here. We're just gonna shoot it. This seems to be pretty easy. I don't know if it'll split off or anything, like, uh, like in the game centipede or anything like you know when you shoot in between the worm or the centipede i guess it splits off into two i don't know if that's gonna happen uh today oh geez oh geez oh my god that iron skin potion really like does 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 the old spot let's see let's use our wand of sparking uh, so we can set it on fire set its tail on fire a little bit there we go yeah there we go this thing is gonna come in clutch probably the guns really not so much 
Uh, but this this thing will and we got some more of these eater of souls What is that that we just got? I don't know what that was no time to look at it now though Oh speaking of uh, I got some fruit that I got from chopping a tree making this platform that I'm gonna make so We're gonna go ahead and use that. Let's use the undertaker a little bit. Okay. This seems to be really easy Okay, so I think it does split off into two. Yeah, it definitely splits off into two. That is bad <laughs> Abigail seems to be doing a lot of work though Seems to be really good at this, and uh, oh geez. Oh, Demonite or Shadow Skills? Okay, that's good. We need that uh, to create some nice weapons. We're gonna go ahead and uh, use our Wand of Sparking. We could probably actually kill this worm. There's, there's so many tiny little worms right here. Jeez, oh my god. Okay, look, we're gonna do a lot of damage right here, right now. Okay, there we go. We got some more Shadow Skills. Oh geez. Okay. This is really easy. This Iron Skin Potion is really good. Look at, look at our health. We've got hit in a lot. And uh, it's it's still not much. That 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 iron skin potion. I'm definitely gonna gonna try and find some more iron skin potions. I hope I hope I can. I, I was actually told that you can actually uh, make potions as well. I don't know how to do that, but uh, well, I mean when when I get that ability, oh my god, there's so many worms everywhere. When I get that ability, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a bunch of iron skin potions. The regeneration potion as well is probably coming in handy as well. Look at look at all the gold we're getting though. We got five gold coins. Five gold coins so far, and there's still so many worms flying up at us. This is just insane. Look at all the guts around. Jeez, there we go. All right, I think we're just coming around to an end. Oh my god, listen to all the death noises. That's actually kind of satisfying. All right, there's two little worms left that I can see. Yeah, there's one right here. I think we're actually okay to come down here now. Um, maybe. Oh, okay. I'm throwing javelins now. Oh, that actually hit him. Wow. <laughs> All right, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, we need to go ahead and uh, get right there. Okay, okay, just one more. There we go, Eater Worlds has been defeated. Nice, okay, let's go around and collect everything that could have possibly uh, spawned, that could have possibly dropped from him. We got Faye the Dryad now, too. Uh, okay, I don't know where we got her. I don't know if uh, that's an Eater Worlds thing, like we get a Dryad, uh, or if it's something else. I don't know. I, I think I read somewhere that it's uh, something else, but uh, I'll have to double check that. I'm not sure, though. But that was actually a pretty easy fight, uh, I'll say. Uh, and uh, let's see, Demonite Ore? Yes, we definitely want some of that. Um, I've learned my mistake from last time. Do not stand on top of the bombs when they're about to be uh, blown up. So we're going to go ahead and just make some room up here so we can uh, use this uh, Scarab Bomb. I think I'm actually going to go a little bit higher. Maybe just like one or two more blocks higher. There we go, like so. All right, perfect. Get down there. Oh, geez. This might be this might be too close. Okay, no, it's not. Good, good. Okay, um... Let's see, we need to put, put a platform right there. Okay, did not mean to do that, but I'll take it. I just totally like came in clutch right there. Uh, let's see, demonite ore, is there anything else down there or is it just dirt? I think it's just dirt, okay. Uh, let's go back up and uh, let's see what else we got because where we spawned it, Abigail started attacking it and uh, I, I doubt that uh, she, she got uh, anything from it down there, but we're gonna go check anyway and it looks like we've just defeated the 400th Eater of Souls. Jeez, we're we're defeating so many Eater of Souls this time. It's it's like it's not even funny. We've defeated so many. Um, where did we spawn the worm? I think we spawned it like right here. Did I collect the weapon? I did not. What is this? Precise band of star power. Uh, it's equipable. Increases maximum mana by twenty per uh not not percent by twenty. Uh, let's see. What should we get rid of? Let's get rid of the stool. It does give me some defense, but uh, I I think it'll be fun. Or right, unless I want to do the ancient chisel. Um. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of the radar. I'd rather have defense uh, than a radar. I never really used it anyway. It just, like, said the amount of enemies nearby. Wait, is it still being used? Is it? Okay. So there's another shadow orb here. I think... I don't think they respawn, um, but there might be enough shadow orbs to spawn one more, maybe two more Eater of Worlds. Uh, so we can defeat it a couple more times, but that was... That was really easy. I think I might do that another time because we got... How many shadow scales did we get? We got 49 shadow scales and 138 demonite ore. And I don't know how many bars that's going to be, but I know that it's going to be a, a lot, quite a lot. And we can use those demonite bars to upgrade our armors. I think uh, the shadow our ancient shadow armor or the other shadow armor the counterpart is pretty much the same uh and you can use the demonite bars to make shadow armor but we're not going to need to do that because we already have the other version of it 
we uh we got this early on and it's actually pretty good and we got another worm coming up coming up at us i'm done with the worms i'm done with them um i don't think we came over here for the eater of worlds but i don't know where abigail went so we're just gonna go ahead and check but no i, I think we're good i don't think the worm went all the way over here all right Perfect. Let's go ahead and recall potion home, and uh, let's see what we can craft. Let's first let's say hi to the dryad. Is this it? Yep. Uh, be safe. Terraria needs you. Happiness. Uh, all is peaceful. Don't mess it up. Status. World is 7% corrupt. You have a lot of work to do. Okay. What do you sell? Purification powder. Grass seeds. You're basically just, uh, I don't know, a gardener pretty much. I don't know. You'll sell me a bunch of seeds. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we got 9 gold from that. Nine gold coins. Jeez, that that is a lot. Okay, killing bosses is really good. But um, I'm going to put all this stuff in nearby chests that I can do. There we go. And uh, we need to craft demonite bars. Here we go. Right here. How many can we craft? 46. We can craft 46 demonite bars. All right. Uh, here's the shadow armor. You can see the icon is a little different than the one on the right here. Um, but... Uh, they're, they're both the same pretty much. Okay, so we can make... Is this a yo-yo? I think yo-yos are actually pretty decent. But I actually want to make um, some tools. I think I'm going to make demonite tools real quick. Because my weapons are pretty good right now. My armor is pretty good. Uh, so how much do we need? We can actually make both of these things. So we're going to go ahead and make a nightmare pickaxe. And uh, is this an axe? It's a hammer. Okay, can we make can we make an axe? We can make lights bane, 16 melee damage. Plus 12% size, 21% critical chance. Actually, the Platinum Sword might be just as good. Yeah, the pl Platinum Sword is actually pretty, well, like, better than that, I would say. Uh, War Axe of the Night. This is this is the axe. We're going to go ahead and craft that. I don't know if we're going to craft the hammer. You know what? Let's craft the hammer. We might as well. We're, we're crafting tools, so we're going to go ahead and craft it. There we go. We'll test all of these out. We'll equip all of them. What else can we make? Demon Bow. I don't know if I'm going to use the bow a lot. Um... I think that's pretty much it. Maybe uh, if we go to the actual crafting station. No, what about to the other ones? What about right here to this dive vat? I don't think we're going to have to do anything with the dive vat. All right. Well, look at this pickaxe. Let's see how fast it mines. Pretty fast. <laughs> and that's with the mining power that we got. All right. I'm going to replace that dirt that I destroyed because I don't want to. And why aren't these diamond trees growing? I don't know why. Do they have to be in caves maybe? I'm not sure. Um, but... Or maybe they just take a long time. I I have no idea. What is this right here? Unconscious man. Wait, what? Huh? How did I get here? The last thing I remember was a portal opening up in front of me. Eternia crystal. Okay. So this is a Dungeon Defenders uh, crossover with Terraria. We have a shop here. Ale, Eternia crystal. Yeah, so uh, I've played Dungeon Defenders before. I've streamed it. I've recorded it on, on another channel. Uh, but I've actually been thinking recently... Should I do Dungeon Defenders again? I'm not sure. If I do, then I will be doing the whole campaign across all of the games. I've only played the first and second one, I think, of the campaigns, but it's been a little bit. So if you want to see me play Dungeon Defenders, then go ahead, leave a like on the video, and I will play the whole series for you in order of, let's say, release. So I'll be doing Dungeon Defenders 1, 2, and then Awakening, and then, what's the last one? Uh, Rogue, I think is like what the last one is called. And if there's any other spin-off games, I'll do that too. But just, just leave a like on the video if you want to see some of that. And also, if you want to see some more Terraria content, then go ahead and leave a like for that as well. Uh, comment down below which one you want to see more. Comment down below which biome you want me to explore next, which boss you want me to kill next. Uh, just... Maybe if you want to see anything, then uh, just give me some suggestions in the comments below. That'd be great. It'd help me out. And you guys would see what you guys want to see, too. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.